What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my new car that I hinted at in the last video. There's actually a bit of a complicated situation surrounding this car and the car itself is pretty rare, especially here in the States. I don't think there's that many of these that have been imported yet. This car is still pretty unknown and it is absolutely amazing. Like ever since I figured out that this car existed, I became obsessed with it and I just had to have one. So without further ado, here is my new car. So yeah, this is the new car, and if you have no idea what this is, I promise you you're not alone because most people in the States have absolutely no clue what this car is. But this is a Mitsubishi FTO, and they are really, really special cars. And I don't think there's that many of these in the States yet because they're still pretty undiscovered. If you're wondering what makes this car so special and why I decided to get one, it's because of this right here. Obviously the FTO looks great and everything, but this car probably has the best sounding V6 maybe ever. So yeah, this is a 6A12 and it is a two liter V6. It goes without saying that this is probably one of the smallest V6s ever made and they really don't make all that much power, but that's not why you buy an FTO. They rev really high and they sound absolutely incredible. Obviously, I'm going to be doing an entire build on this car, but before I do that, I have to get some of the cosmetic stuff taken care of, like the hood paint and the trim and one other thing that is the complicated situation with this car. So other than the faded paint on the front bumper and the hood, this car is actually super mint and was really well maintained, which is why I was so happy and excited to get this exact FTO. I was originally looking at FTOs with the Myvec engines, but those were like way more expensive. And this car came up for a deal I just could not refuse. So I ended up getting this one, but not even a month into owning this car, somebody did something they absolutely should not have been doing and they hit the front end of this car. I did a pretty good job fixing the bumper because this whole entire side of the car was pushed in. Somebody backed into it right on the front corner, but you can still tell the car was hit. The fender was bent in and I bent it back out a little bit so it doesn't look as terrible. And the fog lights do not line up anymore. All the bracketry behind the bumper was bent in, so none of this fits correctly anymore. And there is a crack, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. There's a crack in the bumper right below the headlight where the bumper was pushed in. So yeah, now my pretty mint FTO is going to need a little bit more work. I'm sure you can imagine how unbelievably frustrated I was about this because now I have to wait on this to get repaired before I can start building the car. And finding a body shop that's willing to work on an FTO in the States is like near impossible. So yeah, that absolutely sucks, but there's still a lot of stuff planned for this car and I cannot wait to finish building this thing. Next video coming up, I'm gonna be putting Silver's coilovers on this car, so stay tuned for that. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later.